we are looking for science around the home and here we found it conveniently put into a bottle. So uh, Val, what's in here? Well this is a bottle of Box Fizz or Mimosa. It's sparkling wine mixed with orange juice but you could try this with any fizzy drink such as champagne, beer or cola. Okay, so where's the science? Well have you ever noticed when you pour a glass of champagne into a dry glass the bubbles very quickly rise up the glass and often it overflows. Mm -hmm. But if you do it with a wet glass, you find that the bubbles don't rise up so quickly. Yes, yeah, so if you finish your glass already and someone's topping it up, then often it doesn't fizz like it did the first time. So exactly. Why is that? Well, Caroline, why don't you open the bottle and I'll explain. Okay. Ah, you're opening it professionally. <laughs> I've done this before. Okay. Now, Caroline, you've got the dry glass. And as you can see, it very quickly overfills. Oh, look at that. Oops. Now I've got the wet glass. And as you can see, it's fizzing, but it's not as dramatic effect. It's not come right up to the top. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's completely different. So what's happening there then? Well, glass contains microscopic imperfections, tiny scratches that you can't see with your naked eye, and dust as well. And these act as nucleation sites. These are places where pockets of gas escaping from the liquid can form on the edge of the glass and turn into bubbles. Now in my glass, which is wet, the water on the inside acts as a barrier and that means that the gas in the liquid has to diffuse through the water to reach those nucleation sites in the glass and that slows the whole process down. So that's why your glass overflowed and my glass didn't. So does that mean you can slow down or speed up this whole process? Absolutely, and what we're going to do next with the Bucks Fizz is see how we can maximise the fizz or deaden it completely. So we're back here with clean glasses, or at least they were clean. Val, so what have you done to them? Well, Caroline, to your glass I've added a teaspoonful of sugar, mm -hmm. and to my glass I've coated it in olive oil. I can see. So, uh, so what difference is this going to make? Well, sugar contains millions of nucleation sites, many, many more than the dry glass alone. Whereas the olive oil in my glass acts as a really effective barrier. It's much better than the water at uh, preventing the gas from the box fizz from diffusing through to the glass and the all-important nucleation sites. Ah, so I think I can guess what's going to happen, but shall we have a go? Yeah, let's have a go. There it goes. Woo! Woo. And one, two, three. Huh? Look, look at look. that! Look at wow, that! Wow, look at it go! And just, yours is doing nothing. Just as I said, look, I told you. See, there it is, science in a bottle. So thanks very much for that, Val. And if you want to find out more about this and lots of other science you can do at home, here's the book you need.